Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse here, and I am back for another Apple Arcade Spotlight video. And this time we're taking a look at a game that I heard about, um, kind of recommended, I think, on a podcast. And the premise sounded rather interesting. Remember way back in the day, very early on the channel, and uh, there was this big old hubbub in the late 2000s for a little game called Peggle. And there were a lot of different spin-offs. There was a Portal-themed one. They had them on consoles and PC and mobile. It was kind of like this Plinko uh, type of thing, but it was really kind of addictive. I played a heck of a lot of Peggle back in the day. And you know what? That is a series that really needs to come back. You know, it was PopCap Games, and then... I don't really know what ever happened to them. They they made Plants vs. Zombies, I think, and Peggle, and they were on fire for a while, and then they just kind of disappeared. I mean, I know they've done... There's the Plants vs. Zombies, um, like they turned them into more of a third-person shooter um, team base, which I really haven't played any of, like the Garden Warfare games. Um, but there's this other game called Round Guard um, that is on Apple Arcade, and that is what we are going to take a look at now. Here we go, Apple Arcade. And this is sort of, remember, Puzzle Quest, where it was like this match three arcade style game. And this is basically like an RPG version of Peggle. And that is not a bad thing. Um, it's pretty cool. So our main menu here is not too bad. Um, I might just start with a new run, uh, because I don't even know where I left off. So this is a run-based game. Again, kind of like that pinball game I covered the other in another video. I'm going to do a new run. And I'm going to do normal. Now the problem is... Okay, so before I start here, um, I can kind of choose... between like okay so we got our top score let me see there's something i can all right let's see and you like when you do the different things with runs you can get upgrades and stuff you get your better equipment um yeah i don't care let's do a new one it's fine okay so we got our heart and we can pick between um, like our different classes here, our little tabs. So the first one we've got is we've got the warrior, uh, which is kind of what I've been doing mostly. Uh, but you know, you see you get the stats there. The numbers are big, um, but the text above them is a bit small. And I, like I said, a lot of games do that where like, yeah, it's nice to see the values, but being able to read the labels so you know what these numbers apply to, you know, if you're low vision, there is some small text in this game, at least that I find to be a little bit harder to read. Some of you may not have that issue, but we have the warrior. Uh, we've got the rogue. We've got the wizard. And then, of course, the druid. I'm just going to go with the warrior for now, because what the heck. So we get our little map here. And we're starting on a run, Act 1, okay? And I like the kind of like stage view sort of thing. So at the top here, we have our launcher. And we have our little pegs, essentially. And I can drag, and you see how I can, let's say I want to, let's, uh, let's go target, let's go bash you. So now we watch it play Plinko, and we're going to hopefully collect some resources, kill some dudes. We got our pegs here, and we want to eliminate the enemies on the level, so we want to bounce off of them continuously to kill them. And on the left, we have, again, the text is really small, so... I haven't fully gotten into all of the mechanics yet. I've kind of just been playing it as a Peggle game 
and seeing how far I can get. And occasionally when you beat around, you'll get like an equipment upgrade or something. Maybe you'll get to see that. But on the left and on the right, you have all of these different things. And I just really haven't looked at like on the right hand side, these are the things that are in the level essentially that you can do. Um, but you have your meters in the middle of the screen there. You know, I've got my character, my knight, the settings in the upper left. I just wish that the text, and again, I'm playing this on a 12.9 inch iPad. I think the text is a little bit small, but you know, you've got your health, you've got your mana. I'm going to bash that thing again because I want it. Okay, we're hitting all of our gems or our little pegs here. I call them pegs because I'm just so used to the peggle thing. And you see we have spikes on the bottom. And uh, we have that little platform going back and forth. If we, la if we happen to land on that, then we won't lose any energy, essentially. All right, so we need one more of this thing. I want this thing. I want it. Stupid shield. Okay, we hit it again. Ow. So that didn't go super well. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. What do we want to aim toward? So we have different colored gems too. So, you know, like they match up. Let's say I want more of my blue bar. I can bounce off of that. And then I will collect some of that resource on my left. So we got an enemy in the lower left. Um, we want to take care of him, but I'm trying to think, how am I gonna... Okay, this one's in the way, but if I bounce off of that pig, I should be able to... There we go, we hit him. Okay, I'm not doing great. Um, well, I'll hit that one at least so it's out of the way. No! Okay, yep, see, I hit the platform that time, so I actually didn't hit the spikes. So, yay for me. All right, so... Hey, buddy. No, oh, still hit the spikes. And you see how it zooms in? Boom! No ode to joy, like we had in Peggle, but... Uh, as you hit the last enemy, uh, it kind of does that little zoom in dramatic slow-mo thing. So yeah, here we get um, a potential upgrade. Looks like we get an axe. Um, attack plus 13. That sounds pretty good. May as well equip that. And all of the text underneath that, again, like I could read the attack plus 13, but the, even the darker text below that was a little meh. So I have one last chance. I have these three little, um, like, holes at the bottom. But let's say that I want to make one last attempt to maybe collect some resources that are... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I was going to move it. Um, but I could hit some gems, maybe try to get some health, get some mana. So there we go. We beat our first level. And now we move on to a new area. And... We have these little enemies up in the upper right that we need to kill. Um, so let's, and these move around, so I'm gonna try to time this. Okay, come back up. Hey, buddy. And, uh. Hit him again, no, don't go around him, hit him again, oh man. Now I'm losing all of my gems as a platform for later. I wanted to hit him at least a couple times. Okay. Okay, well, we hit him again. All right, well, there's our little warrior bouncing around. Yeah, this left side is getting a little... We got that guy, though. Okay, so now... Let's uh, aim for, let's wait for this guy to come back up. Come on, Pokey. Come on. And 
now. There we go. Pop him in the head. And once you, uh, you know, once you hit, once you launch your ball, it's kind of up to luck, you know. You got to play the field and look at your angles. You know, you got to be thinking geometric. Oh, that's not, okay. I did that a little bit too late. I wasn't paying attention. If I would have done, would have done that a second sooner, I would have hit him. Yeah, fall down and hit him. You hit him. Fall down and hit him. Bounce off of... There we go. Look at that. That went reasonably well. Okay. Okay, so... What is this? Killing... Killing joke. Um... Enemies. There's something about the text, like it's bold, but it, there's something about, I don't know if it's like the style. There's just like a little bit of blur to it, and I don't... I don't know, like it's just the, the little text, it's bold, but it's hard for me to read. For whatever reason. Um, let's... Oh, I thought it was going to bounce the other way. Oh, man. Okay, well, I hit that. I was hoping I would bounce it more back to the right and hit some more pegs over there. All right, so we're going to do another level here. We're moving around on our map. And you see how each level has different patterns and such. So this one, it looks... I'm just gonna bounce off some stuff. This is like a bonus level, it looks like. Okay, yeah. All right, so we hit our little chests and we pick up... Ooh, okay. Um... Actually, that I think I probably do want to equip, I think. Okay, so I can hit one more. Let's... Okay, so all right, we open those two. Oh. So we hit that already, so we need a bounce. All right, yep, we're going to land down the middle one. Okay, so we got a couple more treasures or something. Okay. So again, kind of a run-based RPG. So now we're going to get some sort of a tutorial thing. Uh, this text is a little bit bigger, but, you know, the font is its fairly clear, but it's kind of got a little bit of, like, waviness to it. Like, with the font, it's just, I don't know, it, it's a little bit harder for me to read. That is my one real complaint about this game. Like, I love the Peggle gameplay, because I haven't thought about Peggle in a long time. But when I heard a podcast say, oh, a Peggle RPG, essentially, on Apple Arcade, I'm like, I have an Apple Arcade trial. Yes, please. That sounds A-OK -okay to me. And it is. It's fun. I really like the game. I just wish that the text part of it was easier for me to read. I really wish the text. So I'm gonna try to bounce it off this guy. Yep, hit that guy up on the top. Okay, we hit that, okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look at what we're doing, man. Okay, what are we, we're bouncing, we're hitting stuff. Look at that, man. It's kind of like my wizard game. I didn't expect the run to go as well as it did in this video. Well, I mean, which is good, because I... I would hate to be like, oh, I suck, and then I get like a, you know, a two-minute run. And just fail spectacularly, so... I would like to see that... I wonder if... I wonder if this is just on Apple Arcade. I would love... If this was on Steam... I would buy this because I could probably, depending on whether Magnifier worked with it, um, 
I could see playing this on my computer, no problem. Um, and I would too. Uh, I'm gonna have to look and see if this is, I, I have a funny feeling this might only be on mobile. It might be an Apple Arcade exclusive, but if it's not, maybe it will be eventually on another platform. But for now, um, I don't know, depending. Oh, there we go. Kill that guy, or hit him. Ooh, I think our health is, uh, okay. Let's see, I kind of want that treasure chest on the right. What can I do to get that? I really gotta play Puzzle Quest 2 again. I don't have to start over because I don't remember anything about that game hardly, but like, I never finished it. I beat the first one. Oh god, I fell so hard for Puzzle Quest back in the day. Even two to a degree, but not quite as much as the first one. I remember Chris and I, we both, I mean, we played even multiplayer on that for a while. But, like, we would both play it. And I remember I would just see those, those skulls and, like, the colored gems and stuff. I would just see that in my sleep. Okay, we got our treasure. Ow. Okay. Oh, we got spiked. And that is all she wrote, I think. I think my health is... Okay, right. So now I get to spin the wheel. And I get some sort of a bonus or something. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this week's... Okay, this week's best gold. Okay. Cancel. My best. Okay. Uh, don't care. Okay, so... Let's spin it. Let's hopefully get something. Nada. I have not had good luck on this wheel. I have... I've came up empty, I think, most every time I've tried this yeah I mean I do genuinely like this game um, like I said the peggle part of it is fun I would like to be a little bit more strategic about it and actually pay attention to like you know the stats and the meters and the and the upgrades and equipment that you get but like I said unfortunately um, the text is just a little bit frustrating, uh, to be able to read sometimes. So I can kind of play it kind of casually, um, but it might be a little bit tough. Um, you know, it might be a little bit tough to, to really see in some parts. So... Your mileage will vary, especially even being able to see the colored gems and seeing where the enemies are, you know, with the background, some of that could kind of blend in. So, you know, watch the video. If you have Apple Arcade, I mean, what's the worst? You know, you can download it, delete it if you don't like it or if you can't see it well enough. Um, but there's just enough here that, you know, I am getting points. I am getting, I'm kind of leveling up and everything. So, like, you know, me eventually maybe kind of brooding, brute forcing it through it. But, um... You know, it is fun, and um, I've really enjoyed what I've played so far, and if you have Apple Arcade, may as well give it a shot. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Round Guard, and um, Apple Arcade, like the video if you did. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.